lakh thirty four thousand one hundred and nine. That's the number of fraud incidents, or in other words, the number of idiots who fell to phishing, phishing, and OTP compromise scams between twenty twenty and twenty twenty two alone. These frauds. Amounted to 1,434 crores. For better perspective, that's almost equivalent to Hollywood's Fast and Furious 9's budget of 1,654 crores. But you don't have to worry about these numbers because today I'll teach you how to save yourself from such scams because the likelihood of you getting back your money after being scammed is only one in six. So in this case, prevention is actually better than cure. Bilkul risks nahi lene ka. So how do you prevent yourself from falling for such scams? Well, you're at the right video. In my previous video, I covered five financial scams that you can avoid. This video is a continuation of that, where I'll be talking about another five scams and tips for the same. So make sure you watch till the end. Scam one: SIM card swoop scam. It's a Sunday evening, and you're going to watch The Wolf of Wall Street. Hoping you learn all the secrets to the success of Wall Street. You're all set to watch it and leave your phone to the side. The excitement of seeing Margot Robbie leaves you hooked to the TV screen. Little did you know that another excitement awaits you on your phone. So when the movie is half done, you check your phone to see if Neha has texted you back, but the bank app notified you instead. Four times actually. With a ten thousand rupees debit each time, but how scammers these days use a new technique called SIM swapping. So what is this new scam? Basically, scammers contact a service provider and claim that you've lost your phone and need to port your SIM. In other words, transfer all the old SIM details to a new one that the scammer has. Now all the communications are received on your new SIM instead. But how do they get the data on you? To port your SIM. In most cases, it's through phishing online. You may have entered these details on some link sent to you by the scammers. The worst part about the scam is that you don't get any updates on your old SIM. Hence, it's mostly too late before you can freeze your account. So how to avoid this? So fraudsters need a little bit of personal information about you to convince your SIM carrier to activate a SIM swap. Hence. Do not share any personal information on social media or any websites either. Do not fall for any phishing emails, SMS or calls. Fraudsters use simple ways for you to reveal confidential details. For example, they may pose as your bank manager and you may reveal details without thinking twice. Make sure to check if the website's URL starts with HTTPS. Some may start with just HTTP and aren't secure. Basically, URLs which start with HTTPS are encrypted and are more secured. Compared to the ones starting with HTTP, scam two, home renting scams. Now this scam is something that I almost fell for. It was when I was going to move to Mumbai, so I was on the lookout for apartments that I can rent and move here. So I started browsing some websites and started making a few calls. तेरे को भाड़ा देना पड़ेगा महीने का तीन हजार. Soon, one of these brokers sent me a location to visit the house. Once I reached there, I realized that it wasn't the house I had seen in the pictures. Now the broker calls me up and tells me. That the actual house is close by, and to be able to see it, I need to pay a small upfront fee of five thousand rupees, which will be deducted from the rent paid once I rent the house. In case I don't rent the house, the amount will be refunded. I replied with the classic "kya fuk ke aaya hai be" and cut the call. Surprisingly, this happened another two to three times in my search for a house. At one point. I almost gave in thinking that this must be the norm in Mumbai. Luckily, I had friends here who told me that it was a scam organized by a group of brokers. In case I did pay the 5000 rupees, I was never going to get back a single rupee. Hey, bhai, sare milke humko pagal bana rahe hai ke bacche. How to avoid this? Do not pay any fee to a broker just to view the place. Most times it's a group of brokers doing the scam, making you believe that it's the norm. I was able to find places where they don't charge me a single rupee to view the house, and that's how I finally rented my place here. Once you finalize the place, make sure the owner provides you with a rental agreement. This will help avoid any unexpected problems as well. Scam 3 Fake electronic website scams. Who else hates Google Ads? Sometimes, when I'm researching for some kick-ass ideas to make some kick-ass content for you guys, I start getting ads very similar to what I've searched for. And as a content creator, time is of the essence. So you probably know whose ads I get the most. Welcome to my course on time management. Take charge of your time. In some cases, you see ads that are. 
too good to be true. Like an iPhone 13 for just 10,000 rupees. We all know that when it's too good to be true, it most likely is. There are plenty of fake websites out there, but the algorithm doesn't know that and pushes the ad to your account anyways. Hence, it's important for you to distinguish the fake from the real. If the website seems to have a bad design, unusual payment methods, which aren't secured by a payment gateway, then they're most likely fake. At the end of the video, I'll give you more tips to be safe. So continue watching till then. How to avoid this? Don't fall prey to discounts that are unbelievable because it most likely isn't the reality. Now let me give you an example. Let's say a website lists the iPhone 13 for just 10,000 rupees. In other words, that's almost an 85% discount on its current price of 65,000 rupees. Hence the 10,000 here is ironically 100% of the profit margin for the seller because you aren't going to get jack shit once you make the payment. In case of shady website, always try to opt for cash on delivery and avoid online payment methods. Lastly, always try to find reviews about the company. If too many reviews talk about the non-delivery of products, it's definitely fake. Scam 4. Job fraud. 17,898. That's the number of layoffs made by Indian startups in 2022. Having to fend for yourself and your family, you will end up getting desperate on the hunt for another job. Quick tip. Situations like these remind us how important it is to build an emergency fund. Always keep aside six times your monthly expenses for emergencies. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Considering your situation, you'd be willing to even take a bad offer just to sustain yourself. Let us assume you shared your resume across a few platforms and given it to a few consultancy agencies as well. In a few days, you get a phone call from a job consultancy agency that guarantees your job. The consultancy charges 700 rupees plus GST, after which your name will be in the top 100 MNC's recruitment list. 700 seems to be menial to you, hence you pay. In the next one or two days, the consultancy says there's an interview ready for you, but you'll need to pay 6,800 rupees towards a screening test and documentation. Obviously, you're gonna say, Kya fuk ke aya hai pe? but they tell you that interview will be guaranteed. Finally, the interview does happen and it all goes well, but it doesn't go so well after this. Next, they ask you to pay a security deposit of 25,000 rupees so they can issue the offer letter. They claim that this deposit will be refunded after one year of working. They also persuade you saying that if you don't pay the required 25,000 rupees, all the amount paid up to them will be a waste. Now if you paid the 25,000 rupees as well and you start waiting for that job offer that never comes. Music. Now in all fairness, not all job consultancy agencies cause scams. But if they ask you for money up front, then that's a red flag. It's not just limited to job consultancies. There are many fake job postings which do a similar thing. They have fake emails, fake job openings, and fake interviews as well. I will give some tips at the end to avoid getting scammed like this. So how to avoid this particular scam? If any job consultancy asks you for a fee up front, it's most definitely a scam. Usually, Job consultancies get paid by the companies that are advertising about the vacant roles. They are paid based on the role that the company is hiring for, the experience of the candidate, etc. Hence, as a job candidate, you need not pay them any money. In case of any companies asking you to pay them a security deposit, that is the biggest red flag you can get. Just like that toxic ex of yours. My suggestion for both these scenarios is to pack your bags and run. <laughs> Make sure to research well about the company and trust me, it is very likely you aren't the first one getting scammed. And so with good research, you will be able to find some reviews about fake companies. No company will ask you to pay to get hired. It's definitely the work of a scammer. I mean, if you need to pay to get a job, just work for yourself, bro. Kya baat hai, sir? Kya baat hai, sir? Now the last scam of today's video, a lottery scam. It's 5 p.m. in the evening. You get a random phone call. You answer the phone and the other person on the line says, Congratulations ma'am, you won 1 crore rupees and an XUV 700 from a lucky draw contest. You tell the representative that you haven't taken part in any lottery, but they tell you that you were automatically enrolled since you had recently taken a loan from Hegde Funds Private Limited. Now based on the accuracy of the information, 
you give in to what the person is saying. I mean, it's one freaking crore and a goddamn XUV 700. Even the waiting period on that car is around one year. So the representative on the phone continues to say that in order to receive the car, a small delivery charge of 20,000 rupees needs to be made. He continues to say that the one crore will also be deposited into your bank account once the car is delivered. You believe this and send the money. Bye bye, Tata. Goodbye, Gaya. It doesn't end here. After a few days of no response, you'll get another call from the airport custom duties. Now they'll ask you to pay another 50,000 rupees to clear all the dues on the vehicle. Although you knew you got scammed, you start thinking that maybe it's legit because the airport customs have called you up. But it isn't legit. Most of these scammers work in groups and their primary objective is to loot as much as possible from you. Hence, the moment you feel you got scammed, in reality, you mostly did. Do not engage any further with the scammer. Bonus tip! Never enter your details such as Aadhaar, bank card, etc. on any website. Most websites tend to sell this data to banks and other financial institutions. It can also end up in the hands of scammers. So how to avoid the lottery scam? Mostly every email or SMS you receive which says you won a lottery is most definitely a scam. Do not open any link and enter any details either. Make sure you have appropriate spam email filters in place. Similarly, don't respond to any calls where they ask you to pay some money for any transportation or custom duties for the gift either. In a very rare situation, if you did win a real lottery, no one's going to ask you to pay any money to receive it. For example, let's say you're participating in a lottery contest in Bangalore with around 10 lakh participants for 1 lakh. The probability of winning the lottery is 1 in 10 lakhs. To put this into perspective, it's like expecting you to pick one blue ball mixed with 9.99 lakh other red balls in one attempt without seeing. So in conclusion, always remember guys, if something is too good to be true, then it probably is. So stay safe, make sure to follow all the tips I've given. If any of you have ever fallen prey to any of these scams, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll pin them to spread awareness. So now finally, I have some good news guys. For those of you who have lost money which can't be recovered, I'm going to be creating a fund which will pay you back the money you lost. What? Hey! <laughs> Kisne likha hai script, hey!